Hi everyone, welcome to Handicrafts A to Z channel and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you three moments is that adding the weft and the wool on the salvage line so we're going to do the, the blue weft we're going to replace the white one and the salvage wool let's get started So eventually when you weave the carpet you will end up in a situation when your weft is over. So what we do in this case, just like in any weaving, weaving we are finishing the, the thread as close as possible and I'll try to do that in front of the camera the camera is really the obstruction for me and so you can see it so as close as possible there is no need to do it strict but something like this you trim the end Rudy is enjoying life at the summer house barking at cats and other dogs and we get our new carrot skin and just about an inch before we have our thread finished insert the carrot again as close to the possible as possible to the carpet to the rug itself and lift it up and just above the layer that we just laid we're placing another row of course if you have a couple of changes like that try to make them in the different areas of the carpet so they don't pile up in one space otherwise obviously they will be higher and the rest of the carpet and the same thing will be with the white weft just exactly the same as in any weaving just because there's no straight like eight zigzag as we as we do it with the colored one just put it plain overlay it and continue weaving so this is it as you can see I've done most of it I'll probably redo this bit I grabbed too much but as you can see it's nice straight and I can cut off the excessive thread that's it the new skein of weft is in work so that one repl thread replacement the second one is that I'll make when I get to the point when I end up with a white one and what we have left is the replacement of the salvage this is about to be done I don't know in 10, ten rows something like that so I'll make the tutorial as, as, get, as I get through and probably in a couple of seconds of your time and maybe a week of my time come to the point that I ran out of white weft the thick one so what I do now is I use the remains as much as I can I'll probably cut it here so I don't need that extra tail So I'll trim it here and I beat it all the way down and that's the something underneath it's not the wet and I insert the new one that's the new one 
and again about five to one or two inches longer give us some space here and that's it beat it up seal the end you can hide it on the back and then cut it there or you can cut it from the top you can leave it like this and then cut it later like this so that's the second point where we replace thre threads if you remember the blue one was over here now the white one is here <coughs> so they don't overlay on each other and the last replacement that we have is the salvage but this one is still still some progress here and so I'll continue and then I'll record everything and I'll put everything together okay the last bit I wanted to show you about adding new thread in carpet weaving is the replacing the wool on the salvage as you can see we ended up with warp weft and this wool thing hanging around so it's about to finish so what I do usually what you do is just wrap around like this till it reach, reaches the end but in this case is what I usually would do is to place the usually do it like this until you get to the end and this is what I would do now I just wrap it around like this and instead of placing over here I place it under the thread and hide it in the back so we made the loop just because it's wool it will stay secure it will felt so we've done this part it's secured and pressed under and we introduce the new one the new skein and now what I would do again get the salvage get the weft and with just the same I start from here wrap it around and under now I can weave just I would usually do pull the threads tight and that's it the thread is replaced and uh, in the back we have two threads once we finish at least weave at least a couple of centimeters it will be pressed down and secured you can cut, trim that off the other way is to make the knot to get the thread on the front side and make the knot that's why usually the pe people have the the first stitch on the cell which is the same same color as the salvage itself so you can make the knot with the leftovers and continue weaving so that's generally it and hopefully next week if I have time so I'm working on another project right now I will finish try to finish this rug and we'll cut it off from the loom I can't wait for this moment but hopefully yes there's another week or two until I finish this part stay tuned for more videos bye